What's up guys, this is Cher talking, welcome back to my channel, in today's video I'll show you how to fast farm the new conquest for 3rd anniversary solo mode. So when you start, it's on the farthest right in this point here, so you have to travel all the maps, just use characters with full AoE attacks and multi-elemental, this will help you just do the fastest way possible, then go all the way left till you find the city, here, close to the mountains. And this node is called Nabeshima Hanyo Park, and in my opinion, it's the best place to farm. Because here you fight against slimes, they are weak to all elemental attacks, even more to lightning, they are also aligned in a column. There will be stages with similar enemies, uh, but here since they are aligned in a column, it will work for AoE setups and also for column setups. There are stages where you fight against only one enemy, these enemies will have 250,000, like this stage here, but I don't recommend them so much, since it's just easier to go with elemental damage. Okay, so uh, there are ways to solo farm here, but I will explain. The first strategy, the one that I'm using most of the time, is the one that brings the second Summer Liza by inheritance of Wave Rush of the Global Axe Summer style. <laughs> yeah, well, you don't even need a Remembrance weapon, just this weapon was enough, and she attacks three times and recovers BP, meaning she can attack twice with Wave Rush, and she will do enough damage, just use the Hurricane formation. Okay, so uh, this formation increases both agility and STR, and it's just enough to kill the enemies, they have around 140,000 HP. So maybe a perfect weapon will be easier for those that don't have so many weapon masteries. Uh, the Remembrance Martial Arts weapon will be more than enough as well. Another character that can solo is Halloween Silver. Well, you do need the Remembrance weapon for doing that. She has this Storm Roar skill that she can inherit from her Summer Style, so you need two different limited versions of Silver. But it's a fast attack and she gets BP back when she kills the enemies, this attack is just so powerful, will be enough, but I also have 211 STR, that's the highest one that you can achieve with silver right now. The formation can be Dragon Stance, but it can also be Amazon Raid X. It's insane how much damage this skill does, let's see how much right now. 142. Two. Well, that Dino Bubble didn't die there. Well, you may find that enemy from time to time. But all the other ones died. Yeah, that one should have a very high end risk. But 95% of the time she will just solo. Another character that works is Summer Blue, but I don't have that style. And people reported being capable of soloing with a very strong weapon. But I'll show you alternatives. If you got Summer Copella, she's a very strong column attacker that deals cold damage. Even stronger than most Waterfall Blade users. But you can also bring Den, and I'll show you later. Uh, just leave 3 Carpon on 7 over Spear Launching on 12. And another very strong damage dealer that deals elemental damage is UDX Dark with Inheritance of Bludgy Harvest. Because that one has Shadow Damage, it's also elemental. Uh, you can bring the Wave Array formation for this type of setup and bring three trainees. Okay, doesn't matter who goes first. Let's see how much damage each does. <laughs> so we got a combo here. Well, that was a lot of damage with Dark. He will kill the enemies by himself. He's using a 99% weapon. If you have enough to kill on combo, you're better off bringing a weaker weapon because that may break the cycle of Copelia. 109,000 with Copelia, that's the same damage with Dark as well. Well, like I said, you don't really need the premium styles, you can use Waterfall Blade Plus, and I just proved it with strong enough weapons, like I'm using the perfect weapon from Final Impress, you can just bring the Platinum versions, like Waterfall Blade Plus on the Platinum style will do enough damage. And I even brought the last Platinum version of Grey, that can also use Waterfall Blade Plus. Together on the same formation with Array, three trainees. But of course, if you have the best attackers like Hector, Katarina, 
the Christmas and Press, Soji, they will outdo much more damage with their Waterfall Blade plus damage. But I just wanted to show that even Platinum styles will work here, since I consider this the best stage to farm. Anyway, well, Misty attacked and <laughs> she's too fast, even in the back row. And we're talking about Platinum styles, so they usually have lower agility. But it still works, and if you didn't get the strongest premium styles, you can still have some fun. The next setup brings Bertrand in the back row of a Magia fight formation. Well, he needs to kill the targets with Abaddon hands, and then he is going to trigger some BP back. You can place a fast attacker on the front line to help him get his BP on the first turn, because he is not capable of soloing. So I'm bringing the newest list because I already summoned it for her and she has a fast attack on turn 1. But can be some other characters as well, like Wagner's musical style combo as well too. And she's going to use Aqua Bash on the second turn, but that is good enough damage. I'm even using the double S uh, weapon, I actually have a stronger one. So um, with a combination of both characters, you will just do enough damage to farm. Okay, let's see how much damage Elise does. She's not fully maxed yet, but it's good to train. 66,000. Abaddon Hands doing 90,000. The enemies have around 140. Now let's see how much we get with the uh, second skill, Aqua Bash. Now let's go back to the start of the conquest and I'll show you a different stage. This is called Oguma Shigenobu Memory Museum. Here you fight against enemies aligning in the cold ones belt, but they are weak to pierce. And if you use Claudia in a Magia fight formation with Skyfall, and if you bring Anya as well, because she will give the remaining BP that Claudia needs, you'll be capable of Soloing with two characters. Yes, I know this is a joke, but it's pretty fast. It's just two actions Okay, so I ran this many many times and all the enemies were weak to pierce and Claudia does insane amounts of damage I do have an almost perfect weapon. So yeah, 180,000 But I believe an 80% weapon should be more than enough with this version of Claudia The animation is also fast. I really like this method but it's not a full solo. And now for the last stage, I will recommend Taku. Here you fight against the witch's daughter. Yeah, you fight three of them and they are weak to three different elements, but even more to Slash and Shadow. It will require very powerful units, like you can bring Magia Fight with Arthur in the back, because he will attack with both Slash and Blunt with his follow-up. I'm using the Remembrance Sword. And then in the front line, I brought the critical dark with bloody harvest this is a double s power attack that is already critical to human and i brought a weapon that even gives more critical damage to increase that so uh i get pretty close of not doing enough damage you can bring uh some other damage dealers like soji and i don't know much about many others but there are some combinations but it will require maximum power but at least it throws back Arthur in the game and it's just one wave uh, but I don't know if that's really that fast because you have that warning uh, message that takes some time uh, Arthur was capable of doing like 55% damage and then now we got so much damage with Dark. well that is the end of the video guys I hope this can help you with your farming this is a very good moment to increase your status because everyone is getting plus three games and it's kind of easy. Also, the drops are pretty good. 200 materials to craft your new staves. So, enjoy the fun farming. Thank you so much for watching. Hope to see you soon in the next video. Bye.